everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'll be doing a comparison between two cushions and the first one will be the each house any cushion cream filter versus the misha the original tension pack now i know a lot of people are saying that the tension pack they are not known as cushion but seriously they look like cushion I'm just going to say it as a cushion so that I could do this comparison. Now the reason why I decided to do a comparison between these two is because both of this product, like you know where they put the cushion on, it has like this mesh protector thingy. So I thought it's very interesting because I know Korean brands are starting to do that now for all their cushions and these two are like one of the most like known that you know first started this so i thought i'll do a comparison between these two so what i'll do is i'll put like both of this on each side of my face and we'll see how it goes during the day whether it's long lasting and how great it is on my skin so first i'm gonna use this etude house any cushion and one good thing about this it actually has five different shades i got the darker shade in 10 and look at this packaging it has like this holographic effect on it's really cool and um it's a pink packaging and when you open it up, it comes with a humongous mirror which is awesome and one thing I like about this is that it's pretty light so it's cool and it comes with a cushion pack and once you open it up ugh, you see the sticker off that's pretty cool so I see the mesh part right now when you put this on push it down and voila look at that one thing I've learned is that um, try not to push it too hard because if you push it too hard then the foundation will come out from the side so just be gentle so I'm going to start off and I can see that it's already a little it's like a little bit damp but we'll see on my skin actually you no, know, it matches my skin really well it has a scent to it, it smells very floral So that's how it looks like on my skin. One thing I do notice is that <clears throat> it is not the full coverage. So it is like a low to medium coverage. So you want a full on coverage, you would need to go on a few times if you're doing it gently. But if you were to push it hard, I guess more of the foundation will come out and then you can apply it all over your face. But I did it gently, so I did like a maybe four or five push to get what the coverage that I want. And this one, also comes with this brush here which apparently helps to um, consume more of the parts that you want to conceal so I'm just gonna try it out and see how good it is so to me it just looked like a really um, flat tip brush okay so I'm just gonna put on the side of my nose because I see some redness there So the brush I would recommend for those who want high coverage because I think it gives out more of the liquid onto the brush. So yeah, the brush is very like stiff but it's pretty soft and it's really easy to use. So it's pretty comfortable on the face. I'm gonna try and touch the mesh because apparently touching it is very interesting. Oh, it's very like mushy. And I think the Misha one apparently is, is pretty stiff but we'll see. So, so far I can see it gives a really nice finish, like very natural looking finish. It does cover up a bit of my redness around here, but it doesn't cover up any of my redness around my nose, even when I use the brush. And it does show a lot of my dry patches around my nose, which is really normal. But it doesn't show my pores, which is good because I didn't even put any primer before this cushion. So yeah, so far I like the finish. It's still feeling a little bit sticky at the moment, so we'll leave it and see how it goes. Onto the side of my other face, I got the Misha Original Tension Pack. It actually comes in four different packs, like I think four different colors and four different benefits. I put down a link below. I put down Leah Yu's video, and she gave a really, really good descriptive description of which cushion would should suit you and which one you should get. So that's how I got. I chose this one. So this one, I thought this would be great for dry skin. I got the darker shade in number twenty three. So it's a pretty packaging as well. And if you look closely, it does have some a bit of the holographic effect as well. 
and this one is a bit more bulky than the e 2 house one like from feeling it you can tell already look but it's still a pretty packaging open it up comes with a big mirror as well I'm gonna rip that thing apart basically it comes with a cushion pack and it's not blue or black it's actually white and it's really really soft really really soft it's like doughy type and I'm loving the rose gold rim as well so as you can see the mesh is there as well which is pretty cool and I'm gonna touch it I wouldn't say it's mushy but I would say that it's very very soft wow it feels like cotton touching it one and see how it goes look at that so from looking at this you can tell that the e house one spread way more evenly than the Misha but looking at it the color looks pretty good yup it looks like a pretty good color This one also have a scent, but it's not like a floral scent, and it's very faded, so it's not that strong. This one actually smells like lotion. Then with the Misha one, I can see that it's more glowy than the Etude House one, and it's a little bit lighter compared to the Etude House one at the moment. But we'll see during the day, it might oxidize, we'll see what happens. And I also noticed that it actually goes in between all my pores so that's one thing to take note of and it doesn't really cover up the redness even though you go over it a few times so it only gives you a specific kind of coverage which is like a low to medium coverage if you want any more coverage you would probably have to put concealer and stuff like that so redness around here a little bit of dry patches and it's already going into my pores and regarding applying it, it's very easy to apply and um, it also feels as sticky as the e house one but we'll leave it and see how it goes during the day so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys a close-up of both sides of my face and I'm going to apply makeup and we'll see after that back now with my makeup on as you can see the Misha one is still a little bit lighter than the Etude House so far I'm actually liking the Etude one way more than the Misha just because I feel like the Etude one it gives a really nice natural looking and like natural look sorry and for the Misha one I can still see a lot of my pores like the cushion sucking into my pores so my pores are very visible at the moment but um, both feels really comfortable at the skin and we'll see how it goes during the day the time now is 9.19 so I'm going to try and leave it on as long as I can and give you guys as many updates as I can as well during the day and also I noticed there's just a lot of redness around my nose which cannot be helped but yeah just thought I'll let you guys know about that but so far no other dry patches and yeah it's just Oh, a little bit on the forehead, but it's on both sides of the forehead anyway, it's just my skin really dry. But other than that, I can't think of anything else, so we'll keep you updated later on during the day. The time now is 2.48, so I actually had this on for almost 5 to 6 hours now, so early in the morning. And I can definitely tell you that it is getting really oily around the middle part of my face, so the T-zone and on the chin as well. I mean on the cheek both sides too looks really really good for some reason I'm actually starting to like the Misha side a bit more now it's just I feel like the pores are disappearing I don't know how but it's not as visible as this morning and this side here the Etude House still looks really really nice but it's just I don't like around the nose area it's starting to get really really oily there's no cracks or anything which is awesome and I've been out since 
before so since like nine o'clock so i was out that's why i didn't have time to give you guys an update but so far i'm very impressed it's already been five hours even though it's a bit early here you can only see one of my red dot yeah and i haven't really touched it yet but i mean yeah there's nothing else at the moment i'm gonna try and leave it on longer because i have to go out again later so we'll see how it goes during the day but so far i can't really tell you much differences it's just as you can see the Misha one already oxidized so both sides of my face look the same so the skin color are the same and both still gives up oil and the nose area and on the t-zone under the chin so there's not much difference at the moment so yeah i'll catch up with you guys later on hi everyone so final update it is actually 7 22 now but i've actually had this on for i think almost 10 hours so i thought ending this now will be a good time because i'm so tired but anyway i just want to give you an update as you can see it's really oily around here as the same regarding my nose it didn't fade anymore however i do notice that on the e tooth house side you can start to see my pores and my dry patches but somehow on the left side the dry patches and pores somehow look more smoother now maybe because of the oil it's a bit weird but i mean in regards of around here both sides shows my redness now i were to choose one cushion which one i would like i would actually choose the misha one even though in the beginning i don't really like it but as the day goes on it actually smooths out really nicely and it looks really nice on the skin but it doesn't give you a full coverage However, on the e Tooth House one, it does match my skin really well. It doesn't oxidize. So I like the skin um, the skin tone, the color of the cushion. But I just don't like how it's starting to crack now. So it's starting to crack around this area. And as you can see, it's starting to show all my dry patches and pores. So it just doesn't look as attractive as the Misha one. But I would definitely still use both of them because I already have them now. And I'm pretty impressed with how long lasting both are. And I will put the prices here so you guys can see the price differences. I don't remember the price differences now. And in regards of the SPF, I'm always about my SPF. It is good that both of them have SPF. I think the e Tooth House one have less SPF than Misha just by 4. So this one SPF 37. And this is SPF 33. So my conclusion is that this cushion is actually good for those who have um, dry skin. Just because I have really dry skin on and off. And I'm not in my best skin condition at the moment. So I do have dry patches around here and on my nose. But it's not as, if, as visible as using other cushion which is good. And I feel like with the Misha one however if you have oily skin somehow it helps make the cushion looks much more better like it makes it more smooth for some reason which is awesome because you can't see the dry patches to the house one i got the darkest so the darkest shade is actually my shade so both cushion will be only suitable for those who have skin tone like me or probably lighter and i am nw25 to 30. overall i do like the michelle one a bit more than the e Tooth house at first you can't really tell the differences just around the nose but as the day goes on you can tell that the misha is a little bit better than the e Tooth house so i wouldn't recommend getting both but i would recommend getting just one of it so yeah i hope this is helpful please feel free to ask me in the comment below any more questions you would like to know about both of these cushions hopefully this is helpful enough and i'll see you guys next time bye